everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I made these three really different bubble tea drinks. If you're new here, show some love and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Okay, let's get started. First, for every drink, you're going to need tapioca pearls and honey to sweeten it up. So I'm going to make the tapioca pearls as normal. I already have a video on my channel on how I make my tapioca pearls, but this time I didn't put them in the honey or the sugar syrup. I added them in to it later. So first we're going to make the passion fruit and pomegranate drink. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab this tea that I got from um, T2 for Christmas and I'm going to make it and I'm going to let it sit so that it can dissolve all the flavor into that water. So as I let it dissolve, I'm just going to let it sit aside, add the honey into the cup and then we're going to add the tapioca pearls in and then I'm going to maybe mix it up a little bit just so that the pearls are covered in the honey. And then I'm going to add in the pomegranate tea. And this cup is really bad for pouring, so I'm a very messy pourer. And then I'm gonna get a little bit out because I put too much tea in there. And then I'm going to add passion fruit ice cubes. This is made from straight passion fruit pulp, but the thing is I would rather have normal ice cubes instead of these ones because once I added these ones in they just completely melted and then it didn't add the effect that I wanted it to so next I'm just going to add in the pineapple juice into the top of it and this wasn't as pigmented as I wanted and with the um, passion fruit melting it didn't give that sunset gradient that I was really looking for but you can always do this a different way by adding normal passion fruit juice and normal ice cubes instead of using passion, passion fruit pulp ice cubes. And it was a really tangy, fruity, kind of refreshing drink with a tinge of sweetness from the honey. Really liked this drink. It wasn't the way that I was meaning for it to turn out, but it worked pretty well. Next, I'm going to show you how I made this chocolate milk and honey. Um, boba drink, uh, milk and honey because reference to the book. So first I'm going to boil the jug again and I'm going to make up some Milo milk. So first I'm going to get three scoops of Milo and I'm going to put it into a cup and I added a sweetener in there just to sweeten up the Milo a little bit more. And then I added the water into it and mixed it around until the Milo was all dissolved within the water. And then I let it cool down a little bit. So I got this cup from a store in Sydney that makes drinks with as a light bulb, as boba drinks. So I'm just going to reuse that cup. So first I'm going to add in the honey around the top rim and then the honey in the bottom, and I'm gonna swirl that around so that it gets around on the outside. Um, I would rather find a better way to put it around because it didn't distribute as much as I wanted it to, but it was still fine the way that it ended up. Using a funnel, I'm going to add in the tapioca pearls. And after that, I'm gonna put in the Milo milk, which was really messy as well. After that, I'm just gonna put the normal milk in and that one's all done so you can mix it up a little bit and it just gives this little glazed look the texture is really smooth and light and it's very milky but with a subtle taste of chocolate i wish i put more chocolate in there but this one's really cute and if i still had the light in the bottom of the bottle i would have switched that on and then it would put little lights and glow through the bottle but I used it at the GOT7 concert so that didn't turn out too well. The next drink is called Chai Time. I took this as a reference from the bubble tea shop in Sydney called Cha Time. What I did is I got this packet chai that I got from Woolworths and I just mixed that in with some hot water, mixed it up and then I just added the honey to the glass, the tapioca pearls as usual, and then I didn't mix this one up because I wanted that layer of honey at the bottom. Then I added in the chai tea 
then I added in some milk, which you're not really supposed to do, but I did it anyway to cool it down a little bit more. After that, I drizzled some caramel syrup on the top and topped it with cinnamon. Um, I've made this one many times before and it is by far my favorite one. It is very, it's a little bit thicker than the um, milk and honey one, but it's still smooth and it has like a festive kind of, I don't know, I always say like a Christmas kind of taste, so like that kind of season. And it's very calming and it's very sweet. It's something that you feel as if you can sit around the fire and drink. And there's actually nothing I would change about this because this is by far my favorite one that I've ever made because I love chai tea so much. And yeah, so those are the three drinks that I tried today. This is all just a test and I wanted to show you how they turned out. Don't forget to like and comment this video and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you all later. Bye!